We produce more than could ever be consumed. We have an order of magnitude more empty houses than homeless people in the U.S. As a world, we produce 50% more food than we need, and yet people starve. I love books, and I'm glad for more, but I will never read them all. I love art too, and scratching the surface is an understatement. Look at astrophotography, space images, we have a trillion galaxies with millions of ways to combine telescope data. The art is uncountable. There are so many untold stories sitting in older hardware, and the list of older hardware gets longer by the day. With math and programming techniques constantly improving, we even unlock new stories every day. For example, we have that guy that did Portal on the Nintendo 64, who was sent to cease and desist. Yet you are lazy if you don't work yourself to death. The waste is compounded because people are more efficient with less work, as it gives them time to relax and take care of themselves. We could quarter the work we do and only notice better quality of life and less environmental damage. What you eat doesn't matter when it will be made regardless. Most information is spread by direct social contact, which means it is done because people have a connection to it. Even with infinite images, people are scared of AI creating too much to get through. You won't notice a difference between a million and ten million lifetimes of content. Adding a labor barrier to reduce content is a waste. This makes the old tools being constantly killed that much worse. It keeps us off balance by forcing us to buy new tools to upkeep these connections, turning them from something that builds and exists to something that is consumed and lost. The more we work, the more exhausted we are, so the more reliant we are on capital, which means more work, as capitalists learn to just throw away our old work. Workers are fired for eating leftovers. Homeless people are jailed for using empty houses. The solution contains two parts. First, work less and normalize working less. Start by finding something at work and not doing it. The common counter tactic is pushing the other workers harder, blaming the undone work. But work is left undone all the time. It is a scare tactic they use as prevention. As managers know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure so they rarely do more if that fails. The second is to build means of production we control. We can reduce labor by making only what we will use, and actually being able to use all we make. The less we have to go through capital, the less wage labor we must do. To learn more, look into anti-work and mutual aid as ideas. Links to more info in the comments.